Uh, okay. All right. So, um, going to Johnny Lee. If you've got your your fancy pointer, uh, an expensive Wii remote. Thirty nine US. Thirty nine US. You don't need the little nunchuck. A little inexpensive Wii remote, okay. Um, and what what we are doing is using the camera inside the Wii remote to see the uh, the pens as they emit infrared light. And use and thanks to also to the Bluetooth inside these devices, they can talk to my laptop. Now we had a little problem earlier on because although my laptop has built-in Bluetooth, it didn't, I know, it didn't seem to work. So eventually I just pulled a little Bluetooth dongle from, I think it's Blue Soleil. So I can explain why that Blue happened. Take. Huh? I can explain why that happened. Okay, let's uh, see. Basically the Microsoft built-in Bluetooth stack mm -hmm. will not work with the, the managed library that people use to talk to the Wii mode. So um, if you have it built into your machine with Vista, mm -hmm. you will probably use the Microsoft Bluetooth stack as opposed to the to the Bluetooth stack that comes for the actual device. Okay. So, um, the so Microsoft Microsoft's Bluetooth yeah. stack sucks. <laughs> for this particular case, yes. Yes, okay. <laughs> so, say that 10 times fast. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> well, because I managed, I have a Windows 2000 machine upstairs, which had a little Bluetooth dongle and its own software. I didn't have any problems. So I said, okay. Yeah. Why kill myself? Just pull it out. So to get into my XP <laughs> laptop. <laughs> okay. Run, run the software. If you look now, there's two Bluetooths. There's the Microsoft Bluetooth here, and this is the other Bluetooth. Um, okay. So once once we install the Bluetooth, we install the dongle. We we follow Johnny Lee's advice. You hit numbers one and two on the little remote, and it'll start to flash like crazy. I think normally it's all four lights will start flashing. And then you run the search for devices. Okay. So now when I when you hit the one and two on the remote, and then you click the little orange circle here, it'll start to search out for all the Ninten the Nintendo Wii remotes. And eventually you'll pick it up, and say, okay, do you want to set a password with it? But there's no password. So bang, I got a connection. And then that's you know once you have that, you're almost you're almost good to go. Um, so you then set up the Wii remote on a shelf, a nice good location where it can see the whole board or the surface you're working on, whether it be a CRT screen or um, a LCD screen or a nice projected surface like this. You know? What what sort of angle is it at? Now, the the I think they said that the Wii Remote has a 45 degree angle of view. Alright, um, so if you want to, if you could do this little maths and thing, you can work out. <laughs> but actually, what I realized is like, by flipping it upside down, you seem to get a better view, I guess. Yeah, that looks pretty strange. That angle, I don't Your mileage will vary, so. <laughs> try, try turning it upside down, turn it that way. Adjust the, you know, you just want it a little off, off on one side, either left side or right side, where, but it can see the screen where you can't block it too much, so you can do little things like, pick it up, a little bit out of there, oops, 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 okay, a little bit, all right, download the software from Johnny Lee's website, Unpack it, even though it's got a lot of source code in it, he has the exe e executables in it. I think in this case I had to get the .NET framework. So mm -hmm. there, there are three things you need. Um, uh, this is for the Windows implementation. Uh, you need the .NET framework 3.0 at least. It's 3.0? Um, okay. Yeah. Um, if you go to toadplex.com, mm -hmm. uh, which is an open source Microsoft .NET um, site, okay. there is something called a remote library. Um, <laughs> which you need to download. And the really huge file is actually the DirectX SDK, which is about 450 megabytes to download. Yes. Um, all of those things are actually listed in Johnny Lee's site with links to tutorials, so he's actually pretty cool with um, instructions there. Mm -hmm. 
Not of course, Johnny Lee's program, which is the, the remote um, software. Yeah. So download it, unpack it, run it. Uh, inside there is a little program called uh, Wiimote Whiteboard. That's the one I went with. Mm -hmm. um, which just turns any surface into a, like a whiteboard. You have a little pen in your hand, and you can start controlling objects on on the on the screen. So. Well, before you do that, you have to calibrate it, don't you? Yes. Uh, well, why not? Go we'll calibrate. Bang! So it says four point calibration. And as you see, I don't touch the button until I mark the center. Two, three, and. Go ahead. <laughs> 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 Alright, well that's happening. See there's also a little on screen keyboard where you find us and accessibility options. Uh more programs. Accessories. Uh, accessibility. Oh, okay, I'm in the wrong place. On the on screen keyboard there okay. no. So that's the first one, not the second one. <laughs> <laughs>